Hello, it's Jackie Green from GEI's Behind the Design, where we are helping build a stronger design community by reimagining training, education, and support for interior designers. Today, I have a quick tutorial on how to create a 2D room with a door. In this video, we will be using the rectangle tool, the line tool, the offset tool, also the move tool, tape measure, and the two-point arc. We will also be grouping our geometry. So if you're ready, let's get started. I have opened a new SketchUp simple template. I'm using SketchUp 2021 for this video. I need to create a room that will be a 10 foot by 10 foot with a wall thickness of four inches. I also need to include a door. First, I will start by creating a rectangle that is a 10 foot by 10 foot. The rectangle tool is found in the toolbar or the large tool set, and the shortcut is R. I click a place in my model space, move my cursor in the direction I want to go, and type 120, 120, enter. Remember, SketchUp works in inches, therefore 120 inches equals 10 feet. I can double check by simply clicking on the edge and I can see in the entity info box, the length is 10 feet. I can check the side edge as well and see that it is also 10 feet. Next, I want to create the four inch walls and I will do this by using the offset tool. I will click the face of the rectangle then click the offset tool in the toolbar or press F on my keyboard. Now click the edge and move outward. I want it to be four inches, so I type four, enter, hitting spacebar to get out of the command. I now have my outer walls and my room is still a 10 foot by 10 foot room. Next, I want to group my wall. Easy enough. I simply double click in the wall face, right click, and select make a group. But before I do that, I will delete the inner face because I don't need it. I select it and hit delete on my keyboard. Now I'm going to use a bounding box, holding my cursor button down at the lower right corner continuing to hold it as I move to the upper left corner and then releasing the mouse button. All edges and faces are selected and I can then group this together. I know it is a group because I can't edit currently without getting into edit mode. If I right click on it, I can see the drop down that I have a menu item that says edit group. This tells me I have selected a group. To make changes to my wall, I will need to be in edit mode of that group. It is best to group your edges and faces as you go along. This will prevent you from accidentally leaving something out and reduces your chance of deleting an edge or a face that you need. Now we now need a door. We're going to create the door outside of the room and then move it into position. I will pan a bit to the right. Remember, panning is holding down the shift key and the mouse wheel at the same time. Now I want to add a 30 inch door. My door panel will be two inch thickness and the opening of the door will be large enough to accommodate the door. I will use the rectangle tool to create the door panel first. I will start the rectangle tool, click one time, move in the direction I want to go, and type two comma 30, enter. Hit spacebar to get out of my command. Next, I need a door swing, and I will use the line tool to draw the guideline. Click on the L on the keyboard, the shortcut, or the pencil in the toolbar, and draw a line along the red axis 30 inches. Base bar to get out of your command. I will eventually delete this line. I'm just using it as a guide. Now I need an arc for the swing. Select the two point arc or A on your keyboard. 
click one edge of the door as well as the guideline you created and slowly move outward and you will see the bulge create. Now this takes practice, but you should be able to eyeball the swing. Once you have it in location you want, just click the left mouse button. Notice a face fills in, but don't worry. When we delete the guideline, we now have a 2D door annotation. Next, I will group the door by using a bounding box. Now group the geometry by right clicking and selecting make a group. Now be careful when making something a group. Before you right click, be sure you point the cursor on your selected geometry you want to group. If not, you will lose your selection. Now I want to move the door into location. To move the door, I will select the door, then the move command from my toolbar or by clicking M on my keyboard, select the corner and move it along the red axis. Notice as I move it over the room that it is not aligned correctly. So I will move it along the red axis first and then move it along the green axis. Remember, you can lock in your axes by using the arrows on your keyboard. Right arrow on the keyboard is red axis and the left arrow is your green axis. In most cases, I need the door to be four inches from the perpendicular wall to allow for hardware. I can make sure it's four inches from the wall in two ways. I can either align my door with the inferior wall edge, then use the move command, click on the door, move it along the red axis, and type for enter. Hit the space bar to get out of the command. The second way I could do that is by selecting the tape measure or T on my keyboard, clicking on the edge around the middle section and moving it over four inches and then using that guide to move the door accordingly. When I'm done, I hit the space bar and then I can click on just that guideline and hit delete to clean up my model. Now I have the door in the location I want. One more thing, I need to cut an opening in the wall for the door. To edit the walls, I will get into edit mode of the group. Simply double click on the wall or right click on it and select edit group. Notice the door is now grayed out. We will use the line tool to create the door opening sides. Click the pencil in the toolbar or the L on your keyboard. Use the door as a guide and draw two lines across the face to the other side of the wall. Along the green axis to make sure your lines are straight. Hit the space bar to get out of the command. Now I can delete the inner lot edge and the outer edge and I now have my door opening. Now if I zoom out, you will see we have a 2D floor plan of a room with a door. This concludes this quick SketchUp Pro tutorial on creating a simple 2D floor plan with a door. Thank you for joining. We cover this topic in further detail along with much more in our SketchUp for Beginners digital course. You can get a sneak peek of the course by visiting our website at BehindTheDesignCo.com. You can also sign up for free access to our library of tips and tutorials on using SketchUp. Access to the library is free and we are adding more helpful resources every month. And as always, feel free to subscribe to our channel and share it with others.